What's up guys, that Castle Good Miniatures back with another video tutorial and this time we're going to be talking about the little known but very powerful product called Streaking Grime from AK Interactive. But before we get started, check out my website GrimdarkCompendium.com. If you're not already a patron or a member of the Grimdark Compendium, then you'll find a large and consistently growing painting tutorial library that covers a lot of the content within Warhammer 40k in the Age of Sigmar universes. Also, I sell a lot of the products that I use in my tutorials, so if you need to pick some of these products up, consider using my services. It's tremendously helpful and allows me to continue creating this content as a main source of income. Again, GrimdarkCompendium.com, and I appreciate the support. All right, so first up guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the product and then we'll get into the demonstration. Uh, but first, let me say that I, I'm not sponsored in any way by uh, AK Interactive. I'm not being paid to say any of this. Uh, it's just a product that I think is very good and uh, I don't think a lot of people know about it, but it can definitely change your hobby game once you figure out how to use this stuff. So let me also say that enamel-based products are much different than oil-based products. Um, a lot of people use oil-based products to do washes, like oil washes, where you can apply the oil and then clean it away. Enamel-based products are applied the same way, but when they dry, it's completely different. Enamel products dry a lot faster than oil-based products do. They also dry a lot harder. And you can use a blow dryer once you apply an enamel wash, it rapidly cures it. And once it's dry, you can paint right over the top of it without any issue using acrylics, uh, any kind of additional acrylic washes, anything like that. So streaking grime is specifically designed for weathering. Uh, it's also designed for doing the streaking technique. But after a little bit of experimentation, we find out that streaking grime has a much broader spectrum for application. One of the things that I like to do with streaking grime is do the unifying wash. And that's mainly what we're going to be talking about in this video. There are so many other things that you can do with it that I will show in later videos. But this one, I'm just going to show you how quickly and how uh, effectively you can wash your models with this product. So this model right here has been based out. That's pretty much it. We just have the base colors on and the next thing we're going to do is start washing it with streaking grime. So in the previous footage you saw that I was mainly using a brush and a very watered down, thinned down version of streaking grime to wash models with. That's perfectly fine. You can do it like that. But one of my favorite ways to apply this stuff is using an airbrush. Just think about how much time that's going to save you if you can airbrush on all your washes over all your troops that you're bat batch painting whatever you can airbrush them all in a batch it takes literal seconds to get it on there and then uh, once you've applied it you're just going to go back through and start cleaning it away so one of the other perks to uh, applying it with an airbrush is that it just goes on really smooth it's not very runny it's a lot easier to manage so that's why i like to do it with an airbrush highly recommend doing it that way but again, if you need to or you want to apply it with a brush, that's perfectly fine. After we get the enamel on there, we don't need to wait for any dry time, nothing like that. We're just going to go back in and we're going to use a product called Mineral Spirits or uh, also known as White Spirits. So Mineral Spirits is just a thinner. It's used to clean up oil-based products and it also works with reactivating enamel-based products and allowing you to clean them up and uh, remove it from the model. So as you can see, I'm just going in with a Q-tip and I'm loading my Q-tip up with mineral spirits and doing a dabbing motion. A dabbing motion is very important. Q-tip is a very abrasive tool, so you want to be very careful about rubbing paint off your model. You can definitely do it. You just need to have a light touch and just bounce the Q-tip uh, up and down off the model as much as you can. Another thing you can do to kind of prevent that if you want to, it's not necessary, but you can always varnish the model before you do this. Um, I never do, but if you want to, uh, you definitely can. So as you can see, just going through the model here with the Q-tip 
Every time I take my hand away from the model during this video, I'm reapplying mineral spirits. So I'm keeping the Q-tip very saturated with mineral spirits and just dabbing over the details, removing the enamel wash. So basically you just got to think about this like highlighting almost. It's almost like you're going back through and uh, just highlighting the model. You're just removing the wash. It's kind of just backwards highlighting. Once you've gone through with your Q-tip and you removed everything that you can and everything that you want to remove, uh, you're going to go back through with a brush and you're going to clean the, the places that you couldn't get to with the Q-tip. So one thing I want to talk about is how to manage the product once you've opened it and started using it. So once the enamel starts to settle in the bottom of your pot, uh, most of the time with like acrylics and stuff, you just shake them up and it's fine. With enamels, uh, the pigment inside of the enamels are a lot harder and once they clump up on the bottom, they pretty much stick there. So what you need to do, if you ever apply this stuff and you dry it and there's some shiny spots on it, anywhere then you know that the enamel base and the pigment are not properly mixed so what you need to do is open the bottle go in with like a stick or some kind of tool and break up any clumps off of the bottom shake it up then apply it and then after that uh, you shouldn't have once it's dry it should look like this there's no shiny spots anything like that so after we apply that clean it off we just hit it with a blow dryer like I was saying, you should have a very matte finish after that. And at this point, I'm just going back through. That's pretty much done. I'm just going back through reapplying some stuff with an airbrush just to show you a little bit more how you can use the stuff. So I want the top of this axe like uh, very dark and shaded, very grimy. So I'm just applying it with an airbrush back on there. And even if I over applied it right there, just simply go back and clean it up again. So the benefits of the enamel product is it offers you a tremendous amount of control. Uh, you can apply it, clean it off, and just completely control where you want the wash to go. And uh, the way that it looks, the way that it dries, just inherently has a very grim, dark uh, look to it. So uh, using this product is just going to get you one step closer to painting in a grim, dark style. And for battle ready stuff, it doesn't even require a highlight. So, I mean, if I were painting a bunch of battle ready troops, tabletops, standard stuff, I just base them out, wash them in streaking grime, and that's pretty much it. There's no, there's no need to go back and highlight anything. Looks good as is. So there are a lot of different uses that we can uh, use streaking grime for. I just wanted to show the unifying wash in this video. I will make some separate videos talking about the different ways that we can use it this i'm telling you though that guys this this product is very very good product um if you take if you watch my videos or you're my patron or you uh are a member on the grimdark compendium if you take anything away from watching my tutorials learn how to use this product streak and grime it's a great product hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one